In this video, we're going to be talking about transfer sheets and texture sheets. If we've got a, a, a transfer sheet with a multi type of design on it, these are ideal for cutting into longer strips to lay directly over probably five or six pro lines at one time, which is going to save a lot of time. If we've got a transfer sheet with much more of a, a singular design, then what we'd do with these, we'd cut them into little squares that we can lay on top of the prior line to give it a distinctive look. If we now move over to the pro lines <clears throat> and we'll start dipping again, and as I'm going to dip, I'm going to show you the process of putting these actually onto the top of the pro line itself. Same principle again, we're taking the chocolate base and we're dropping that into the tempered curvature, dropping about five to start with, scooping the chocolate over them, and then the same principle again, in and out of the chocolate, which is gonna pull back a lot of the chocolate off the proline, giving you a thinner, a thinner shell, and then just deposit it then straight onto a piece of acetate, so now I go for a second one, same again, pulling off and then just directly behind the first one. So I'm trying to form a straight line, which is going to make the job a lot easier. Then if you take the transfer sheet, making sure that you've got the, the butter side facing downwards and just lay that on top of the five prolines, just pressing down slightly which is going to give you a nice flat base and it's going to show off the decoration more. If you're going for something now, the much more of a, a simple type of singular motif, take the proline again, into the chocolate, in and out, dragging off again, onto the side of the pan, deposit it onto the acetate, this time, same again, the rough side onto the centre of the proline like that. So now you've got an individual type of decoration there now. Just dip another onto the acetate again. But this time <coughs> I'm going to use one of the cut-out texture sheets. So same again, what we're going to do now is take the texture sheet and then just press it on top of the prior line. It's going to give you that coarse finish. Another way of using these is to dip, drag off again onto the acetate. You can take it and just fold it over like so and then embed it into the proline, into the chocolate and then just leave it there to go off. So what you're going to do now, you're going to get a V-shape in the actual proline itself. And another way is, so you're going to dip, drag off, clean. Take a piece of the texture sheet again, but instead of putting it fully on, just put it on a corner like that. So once again, it's going to give you this surface now, which is going to be a rough texture from the sheet, but also a smooth edging. So there's a few ideas there then for working with transfer sheets and texture sheets to finish the top of the prolines. Once the chocolates are set, now we're ready to disclose the wonderful designs that we've embellished them with. All we need to do now is just pull away the transfers and you get that fantastic design now coming onto the chocolate. And if you look at the singular ones, once again, you've got a tremendous finish. The textured ones give you the texture on the chocolate. The ones that we've covered partially with the texture sheet gives you a design like that. And then we place some of them inside the actual proline itself, which gives you a cut into it. What's good about using <coughs> these transfers and texture sheets, it's, it gives each of your chocolates an individual image, you could say. You can use each of these designs or texture to represent a certain flavour, and this will help your customer in choosing the type of chocolate they want.
Here I'm going to recap on magnetic modes from the earlier video on working with modes. We've got two modes in front of us. Uh, one is a lollipop mode with the transfer facing up. All we've done with these is just filled them with tempered chocolate and then placed in the stick. We allow them to set off in the normal manner and then once set, just gently lift out the lollipop to reveal the beautiful shiny gloss from the actual transfer itself. The second mode is a proline mode. Once again, it's got a transfer on the base of it. And if we just turn this over, give it a little tap, which reveals a fantastic shell with a transfer, with a lovely shine, which would normally have a filling in. You can also use transfer sheets effectively to make piped lollipops. For this, we place the transfer sheet on the table, take it a piping bag, and then just start to pipe blobs of chocolate directly onto the sheet, spacing out between each pipe until we get to the end. Once we've piped the base of the lollipop, then what we do before it sets is to place a stick inside, just like that. And then we leave them to set off. For when we pull them off the sheet, we're going to get that transfer on the underside of the lollipop. What you can do with the lollipops is put inclusions onto them, uh, fudge, nib nuts, coloured chocolate, which kids really love as a special treat. Once these lollies now set, they'll take probably about 20 to 30 minutes, you can then peel them away from the transfer and you get that fantastic shine, gloss and finish. Those of you with an artistic flair can make your own transfers using various coloured cocoa butters. Joe's going to show us how he's going to make his. Go on, Joe. So what he's starting first of all is, is using a bit of uh, green coloured cocoa butter, uh, just brushing it on. Just recapping on previous uh, videos, we've not overheated the, the, uh, the cocoa butter. He's going for another colour now. There you go, and he's just mottling that now over the, over the green. So now he's just randomly blobbing a bit of orange on. And then you can just cut through the actual coloured cocoa butters, uh, which when it's turned off the sheet, you're going to get the colours, but you're going to get a line effect going through it as well. It's lovely, Joe. Great. What we do with this now, we allow it to set off like we would normally allow chocolate to set off, so it's going to take 20 to 30 minutes again. After that period of time, this particular colouring that Joe's worked with we're going to use a white chocolate over it.